Welcome back to the channel. It's the King Cooper. Thanks for stopping by. So we're doing some more customizing on the street truck that we just got a couple weeks ago. I'm super stoked for this video because we're getting rid of the old elephant ears and we're replacing them with some nice street scene mirrors. So I'm pretty happy with them. They look nice, clean, definitely add uh, a good look to it and give it that street truck look, which is exactly what I'm going for. So we don't need these anymore. And in today's video, we're going to show you what's inside the box, how to install them, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy and you find this video helpful. And uh, thanks for watching, and don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Let's check out what's inside the box. So the first thing you're going to have is a parts list and the instructions on how to install them. Next, we are going to have the mirrors, so all this is going to be wrapped in plastic, and it's also going to have a protective film on the glass. There is the right mirror, and then you're also going to have one more bag of stuff, and that's going to have the end caps or the shrouds that go in between the mirror and the door themselves. And you're also going to have six nuts for the install, so it's that simple. And if you did buy the model with the turn signal or electric heated mirrors, you're going to have a long wiring harness that comes out of the butt end of the mirror here that you're going to have to feed through the shroud and into the door. To prep the mirrors for install, we're going to need a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. And very simple, so the mirror has three studs coming off the back, and then you just slide it into the shroud right there, put your nuts on the back side, and then you want to tighten those uh, snug. You, there is no torque for them, but you don't want to over tighten these as they are uh, plastic mirrors, so we're just going to German torque it, which is good and tight. And it would probably be worth it just to spend a few extra bucks and buy a bag of lock washers and throw those lock washers on there too. Just a little sense of security to make sure those nuts stay tight and your mirrors don't rattle off. Now that the nuts on the inside are all tight, the mirrors are all prepped, so let's go put them on. So for the removal of the old mirrors, you have this trim piece right here. There's a spring tab up here and here, and then a leg down here that you're gonna have to watch out for when you remove it. And then it slides up just like that. And then you're gonna remove the foam pad. And now you have the three nuts here that hold the inside of the mirror. And if you have an electronic mirror or heated mirror, the cord would be coming through here and would run through this little slit right here in the trim. So if you have that, which mine do not, Mine's a base model, so you would have to take your door panel off. And to remove the door panel, if you have electronic accessories, you're going to pop this out. You're going to pop this out, which has a spring tab right here and an arm that sticks on this side. You would not have this, so then you would remove. Some of these have a screw on the front. You can pop that out, take the connectors off the back, and then you have one screw that goes right up underneath here. Excuse me, one right up underneath here. And then you have one that goes all the way down at the front left corner. And then you can pull the trim up and out and make sure you disconnect the connectors here and your speaker wires. Once you have the electronic wire unplugged from the accessories that run up to the mirror, then you can remove the three nuts and swap the mirror out. And make sure you have another person on the other side to hold the mirror. If not, you can lower the window and now we're going to take those three nuts off and hold the mirror on the back side. Make sure you do not forget to switch the foam pad off the old mirrors onto the new mirrors.
be very careful not to drop the nuts down inside the door because then you're gonna it's gonna take you a good minute to fish those out. Once you have the mirror installed, if you have the electronic options, you'll feed the wire down here, and there should be a couple of tabs here that you could zip tie it to. You'll plug it into your uh, connector for the door for the electronic locks and windows, and then you'll replace your door trim panel, replace all the little trim pieces, and then you'll replace the foam insert with your harness going through here, which would be about like that. And then you'll replace your top piece and you're done